Dear students, in this module, we are going to discuss our common environment and how it is related to the sustainable development. The interconnection between society and environment forms the basis for sustainable development. So, society's actions and decisions directly influence the environment and at the same time it is being influenced. For instance, in Pakistan, urbanization and industrial development have put pressure on the environment leading to the issues such as deforestation, water pollution and loss of biodiversity. And what are the consequences? We are facing severe environmental challenges and disasters. So, we see that as we ignore our environment, ignore our environment, जो हैं बड़े डायर और स्वीर कॉन्सिक्वेंसेस जो हैं वो बरामद हो रहे हैं। आज हमारे हाँ वाटर शॉर्टेज जो है वो एक सीरियस इश्यू बन चुका हुआ है। एनवायरमेंटल पोल्यूशन जो है वो एक सीरियस इश्यू बन चुका हुआ है। बिकॉज़ इन आवर हिस्ट्री वी कैन सी दैट वी हैड यूज्ड दिस रिसोर्सेस अनप्रेसि� हम हमने इंडस्ट्रीज जो हैं वो इस तरह से लगाई हैं कि उसके हवाले से इसके क्या कॉन्सिक्वेंसेस बरामद होंगे हमारे लैंड यूज़ के ऊपर क्या कॉन्सिक्वेंसेस बरामद होंगे हमारे वाटर सोर्सेस के ऊपर क्या होंगे और इसी तरह हमारे एनवायरनमेंट के ऊपर क्या होंगे तो हम जो है इसको असेस किए बगैर जो है वो इस इसके हवाले से जो है पॉलिसीज़ बनाए बगैर इसको इम्प्लीमेंट करते रहे और आज हम इस सिचुएशन के ऊपर हैं कि most polluted cities जो हैं उसमें हमारी cities शामिल हैं हम water crisis को जो है इस वक्त face कर रहे हैं और सबसे अहम चीज़ कि overall environment के जो indexes हैं उसके ऊपर हम शायद बहुत सी countries जो हैं उनसे पीछे हैं we have the societal role in the environment the sustainable development stresses this role in preserving and improving the environment for the future generations it's not that we, since we have these resources available for us, we're going to use it, we're going to consume it, and then for our future generations, they have to deal with this mess that we are trying, we are creating here. So, we, but at the same time, we need to be very careful while using these resources, we need to be very careful for our future generations that we need to produce such an environment which could be sufficiently safe for them to be consumed. For instance, the successful tree plantation campaign like the billion tree tsunami in KP demonstrates the societal participation in the environmental preservation. So that was a good project and we need to have more projects like that if we really want to have a sustainable environment for our future generations. And at the same time, we need to see it through the environmental justice and inequality. The impact of environmental degradation are not equally distributed, often disproportionately affecting the most vulnerable members of society. This concept is the key to sustainable development, advocating for fairer distribution of environmental burdens and benefits. An example is the effect of climate change on the rural Pakistani farmers who suffer from unpredictable rainfall, temperature shifts, locust attack and flood floods that we are seeing which are currently affecting the farmers most. If we talk about the sociological theory that how it can encapsulate and how it can reflect the significance of sustainable development. Ecological modernization theory suggests that economic growth and environmental protection can go hand in hand by incorporating green technologies and sustainable practices. So societies can mitigate the environmental issues while promoting the development. Pakistan's adoption of renewable energy and particularly encouraging people to go for the solar energy and electronic vehicles is a good example that we can see that it is a step forward for the ecological modernization. But at the same time, 
we need to produce the education and awareness for sustainable development relies heavily on the societal awareness and education about the environmental issues. So knowledge empowers the societies to make informed decisions and push for change. For example, educational campaigns in Pakistan on the importance of portable water and sustainable sanitation would be instrumental in improving the public health and fostering the sustainable behavior. But at the same time, we need to produce a good policy and effective legislation. And to achieve that, these can provide the framework for society's actions towards the environment. For example, Pakistan's national climate change policy is a good example, outlining the nation's commitment to addressing the climate change and promoting the sustainable development. Finally, we need to see that how these environmental challenges can affect our future directions. So despite the significant strides, several challenges hinder the sustainable development. These include the limited resources, rapid population growth, and weak enforcement of environmental regulations. So these challenges are to be understood through the use of sociological lens, and these barriers and diverse strategies should also be overcome. In Pakistani context, for example, the increasing water scarcity issue demands an immediate attention and some innovative sociological solution. We need to encourage people to go for the limited use of the water and by the fair use policy, we need to adopt a fair use policy when we are consuming the water.